So today we're reading Grania, the Pirate Queen by John and Fatty Burke from their Little Library series, book number one. Young Grania O'Malley wanted to be a great sailor and leader. She and her parents lived near Clue Bay in County Mayo. Her father was a merchant with many ships. He took her sailing and fishing and taught her about the tides and the weather. Teenage Grania was expected to be a lady and married chieftain, but she wanted to go to sea and have adventures. Everyone said that sailing was for boys only, but Grania knew that was just silly. One day she heard that a ship was going to Spain to sell hides and buy wine. Grania wanted to go. Her parents said, no, it's too dangerous. Your beautiful long hair will get caught in the rigging and we might lose you. But Grania had a solution. She cut off her hair and dressed in sailor's clothes. With her hair short, she was called Granuel or bald Grania and so her parents agreed to let her sail to Spain. The sailors on the ship were merchants, but they were also pirates. So Grania became a sailor on her father's ship and sometimes robbed other ships too. Very soon, the other sailors said that she was as good as them, but Grania knew she was better. On their way back from Spain, the ship was attacked. Grania was told to go below and hide, but instead she climbed up the mast. There she spotted a pirate about to kill her father, so she bravely jumped down onto the pirate's back and saved her father's life. The crew drove off the enemy and cheered for Grania. Later, Grania met Donal O'Flaherty, a Galway chieftain's son. They loved each other and were married and had three children, Owen, Maeve and Morrow. Donal was always fighting for more land and power and so was known as Donal of the Battles. He died while fighting with the Joyce clan. The clan tried to take over Donal's castle but Grania drove them away. Donal's family, the O'Flaherty clan, would not let Grania be their new leader. So she went back to Mayo with her children, her sailors and her ships and became leader of the O'Malley clan instead. With castles all along the west coast of Ireland, Grania ruled the seas and islands. She became known as the Pirate Queen. The Pirate Queen had many adventures. One night during a terrible storm, she heard about a shipwreck. Risking her life on the wild ocean, she bravely rescued Hugh de Lacey, a young man from Wexford. Another time, Grania was sailing down the east coast and stopped at Hoth Castle for a rest. But the gates were locked and she was told to go away because the family were having their dinner. Fiery Grania saw the Lord's grandson playing outside and kidnapped him. She said she would return the child if the Lord promised never to lock the gates of Hoth Castle and to always set an extra place at the table. He agreed and his grandson was returned home safe and sound. After several years, Grania married again. Her husband was Richard in Iron Bork. Their son Tibbet was born at sea. Algerian pirates attacked Grania's ship and came on board. After giving birth to Tibbet, Grania rushed out of her cabin to help her crew defeat the pirates. She returned home with not just a captured ship, but a new baby as well. Richard Bingham, the English governor of Connacht, was Grania's greatest enemy. He arrested her sons Murrow and Tibbet and this made Grania furious. So she sailed to England to meet Queen Elizabeth and make a deal. 
Grania did not speak English, and the Queen had no Irish, so they spoke to each other in Latin. Queen Elizabeth agreed to release her sons and move Richard Bingham out of Ireland. In return, Grania promised to stop attacking English ships. But years later, Queen Elizabeth sent Bingham back to Ireland, so Grania went back to her old ways too. She remained a fearless leader of both land and sea, the Pirate Queen of Mayo. I hope you enjoyed the story and hopefully there will be a next one.